Hello everybody, um, this is my new Medlin WR300 weather alert radio uh, I just got today and I'm just going to show you some cool things about it and what you can do with it. So let's go into the menu. First you have your alert mode which you can choose between voice and siren and next if you scroll down you can get your backlight, which it's which can be normal or continuous. I choose normal. Next, you can set up your alarm. Now, I don't have an alarm, but if you do, you can set one up like that. Next, you can set you set up your time, which is shown right here. It's currently 4:53. Set up your date, which is this thing, which is obviously this thing. Um. And we'll just go back to it. And then you can you can set your siren level between low and high. Uh, yeah, so it's going to indicate those three beeps. Next, what you can do is you can siren test it. So that's what the warning alarm sounds like, kind of like the WR100. You can add your alerts or change the name of them. You basically input the same code and then rename. You rename it, and but you don't put like if it's a watch, one of your advisory, like the same code for this one is SVR. And then I, I named it Thunderstorm Advisory because I'm just I just like to do that. And then other things like that. Next, you defeat Siren. You basically it's basically scrolling through your assignment, uh, uh, your. Uh, alerts like that and you you click you uh, press either this or this to enable slash disable them uh now what now next what you do is oh, now next is you set your county code basically your county's same code um so i don't know i don't know mine i can quickly pull that up on my 100. Uh, see my same code. Oh, I didn't set. Oh well, just put in your county same code. You can choose between single, which is just the alerts go off for when the alert like says your county when you decode it. Um, multiple to um do multiple insert multiple counties or all counties, which you don't have to insert a single code. Next, you next is your uh, channel. Select, you just press it, and up and down, like that. My, my primary channel is PHP32. Next, and, oh, never mind, you're back. It's a normal, I think. Then, when you, like, then you turn on your radio by pressing this, like, you like, the NWR, no weather radio, by pressing the weather slash hazard, if you can see that. Scattered and in the afternoon. You change the volume night, with this scroll thing. This right here. Isolated thunderstorms in the evening. Like that. Next uh is the AM FM option. This yes, this thing does have AM FM. What you press is you press this. Watch this. Uh and you uh, you can have three like presets. So, and you can change between frequencies by doing this. Uh, so yeah, I have, I have three presets. And yeah, uh, in order to set a preset like this, you press the menu and then choose which one you want. Now, to switch between AM and FM, that's what this button is for. You switch and you see the frequency changes. Um, and yeah, it's kind of really it. This radio is a very good radio. And turn to turn it off, you just press this again. Anyways, the my review on the radio. Uh, I honestly think it's a 10 out of 10 radio because it's like, oh yeah, to set the uh, to snooze the alarm, you uh, press this, and to turn your alert on and off, you press that. If you don't want like your alerts on kind of like i do in the middle of the night 
So anyways, um, my review on the radio, or the, the, my star rating is a 10 out of 10. If you're asking what the, how good the reception is, it's really good. See, I can scroll through the channel. Uh, oh yeah, it's in the late morning. And so, I select it. Tuesday night. This, this, uh, broadcast is from somewhere down in Sarasota or something. And it, in all my other radios, it's more staticky. And for this one, it is not. There is staticky, obviously, but, uh, it's not as staticky. Anyways, um, that's really it to show you. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one.